Careful management in buffalo breeding is essential to avoid inbreeding and to maintain both genetic diversity and long-term herd health. By introducing strong breeding practices, farmers not only prevent health problems, but also strengthen the overall productivity and resilience of their herds. A well-planned breeding program ensures that future generations of buffalo are healthier, more productive, and better adapted to their environment. Once a buffalo conceives, the pregnancy period or gestation lasts about 10 months, which is very similar to cattle. During this time, the pregnant buffalo requires special care and attention. Proper nutrition is the foundation of a healthy pregnancy. Farmers should provide a diet rich in green fodder, balanced concentrate feed, essential minerals, and constant access to clean, fresh drinking water. This balanced nutrition supports both the mother's strength and the healthy development of the unborn calf. In addition to diet, regular veterinary care is vital throughout the pregnancy. Routine health checkups help monitor the progress of the pregnancy and detect any potential complications early. Deworming and scheduled vaccinations should also be provided, as they protect both the cow buffalo and her calf from common diseases. Maintaining a stress-free environment is equally important. Pregnant buffalo should be kept in clean, quiet, and safe surroundings, with gentle daily exercise that allows them to stay active without strain. As the time for calving approaches, the female buffalo should be moved into a clean, dry, and comfortable calving area. This reduces the risk of infections and ensures a safe delivery. After giving birth, the most critical step is to ensure that the calf stands and begins nursing within the first couple of hours. The first milk, called colostrum, is rich in antibodies and provides essential immunity that protects the newborn from disease. Farmers should carefully observe both mother and calf after calving. The mother buffalo must be checked for complications such as retained placenta or post-calving weakness, while the calf should be examined to confirm that it is active, alert, and feeding well. In conclusion, buffalo mating and crossbreeding is not only a natural process, but also a vital farming strategy for long-term productivity. Through correct breeding choices, proper timing, and careful management during pregnancy and calving, farmers can raise stronger calves, increase milk production, and build more profitable herds. Responsible breeding practices ultimately create sustainability, supporting both the livelihood of farmers and the future 